Hello, everybody. This is Joseph Norman. Welcome to our eighth lesson with Pure Data. Today, we're going to be expanding on our patch from Lesson 7 by adding some extra control parameters to our variable delay. We're going to be using a noise object as a sort of random number generator frequency oscillator to control the delay time as well as the time it takes for the tape head to move virtually to smooth the changes of the delay time. So to begin, let's go ahead and take our patch from last time and sort of move things together to give ourselves some extra space. We want extra room for our control modules. Move that there. Move those down there. And similarly, we move this side. Connect these together here a little bit more closely. OK. So the first step for controlling this variable delay here, what we're going to do is we're going to create a noise tilde object. And so noise generates random numbers between negative 1 and 1. So what we want to do is change this into scalable values that are meaningful to our delay line. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create a new object. We do an addition object here, a single addition. And we'll say plus 1. So now we have random numbers between 0 and 2. And then we're going to create a multiplication object. And we're going to say 0 0.5. So now that scales our numbers to basically be between 0 and 1. All right, the next step we want to do is create a multiplier. And in this case, let's just say multiplier 2,000. OK, so now we're going to have random numbers created between 1 and 2,000, thereabouts. All right, but we want to create a, uh, a base. So let's say we don't want to have just one millisecond of delay. Let's say we want to at least have 500 milliseconds of delay. Uh, half a second. So what we can do is we can create an addition multiply uh, an addition uh, a single addition object, and we'll say plus 500. So that creates a baseline. So now we we'll have random numbers roughly between 500 and 2500 that will equate to delay between 500 and 2500 milliseconds. Okay. So then the next step that we want to do is let's create a snapshot. No. Yeah, snapshot. Snapshot tilde. And what happens is snapshot will take this information and change it from signal just to pure numbers, You're, uh, basically floating point numbers. Um, the next thing that we want to do after that, snapshot only works when it receives a, what's called a bang. OK? So it's not going to send out a steady stream of numbers which noise is going to be just sending out a continuous stream of numbers. We only want to take it at certain times. So just take a snapshot of wherever noise is generating at certain regular intervals uh, through the use of a metronome. So we could create, hold on, there we go. Let's create a metro object. I'll just put a placeholder value of 500, and we'll put that up there, OK? And then let's go ahead and attach that there. OK, so we've created our snapshot. We have our metronome that will eventually control it. And then let's create a TFFF. OK, so now the snapshot will send the floating point number through these three different outlets. And let's send one to the delay time we want, and then this one to the amount of time it takes to change over to that delay time for the tape head to move. And then we're going to send this other float to the metronome so that the metronome will change essentially after every, uh, at the completion 
point for the movement of the delay line. Okay. All right. And then we want to create a toggle box for that. Okay. So next stage, let's go ahead and copy this or duplicate it and move this over here. Okay. And then instead of noise on this side, we're going to use just an oscillator and let's give it a low frequency, let's say eight. So this is going to go normally from negative one to one over the, well, eight times in one second would be the frequency. In this case, we're going to be outputting a snapshot of wherever it is in that set of intervals based on these scaled values of numbers. So let's go ahead and attach those here. Excellent. And what we're going to want to do is copy each one of these, or duplicate them rather, like so. Let's move this in here a little bit more. And then move those up and duplicate. There we go. And then we will attach these boxes. Here we go. Okay, and then we'll attach these here. Oops. Excellent. Okay. For our next step, let's go ahead and change some of these values for our low frequency oscillators. So we start off with eight. Let's make this one six. Let's make this one four. And then let's make this one two. This way, all of these will, these oscillators will be at different points when the snapshots are taken. We don't have to worry about that with noise, of course, because each one of these are acting as a random number generator. Let's go ahead and change one more parameter. So we have all of these has a baseline of 500 milliseconds for our delay on the left side. Let's go ahead and just change that to be 1000. Or right, let's make it 1500 for our delay on this channel. Okay. Excellent. And then for our final step here, let's go ahead and create a new object. Uh, T, B, 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 B. And let's create a bang. And then let's attach each of these outlets to those toggle boxes. Excellent. Without any sound, let's go ahead and look at the changes of the numbers in each one of these boxes once we activate all of the toggles for these metronomes. There we go. Excellent. I'm turning those off now. Finally, I'm going to play you an example of what effect this produces on the guitar. <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you. 